Hey, happy December, everybody. I figured I'd do a, like a one-year ownership update on the, uh, the Turbo Diesel Continental here. Since I don't have anywhere better to start, we'll just start at the front with uh, stuff I've done here. So, um, I replaced this. I think in the very first video I showed what these, the horrible shape these were in. This one is a decent used one out of the junkyard. Unfortunately, that's still the, you know, the original cracked lens. Um, I think that lens is original as well. Uh, grill surround has been or no, the grill surround is original. The grill insert has been swapped. Same front bumper. This one I have in the mail, but the one on the other side used to look like this. You can see the, you know, the chrome is peeling. It's just, it's just the, in a state. However, that lens has been replaced as has that one. Paint still looks terrible. I actually have the little emblem there to put in. I just have it. So, uh, under the hood, we've got some stuff going on. If I can find the release. There we go. So this should look a little bit better than previous. I have not repainted that yet, though I need to. Valve cover intake have been, have been repainted. This has all been apart a couple of times now. Um, let's see. New radiator. The original one started to leak. New battery. Battery hold down. Power steering hoses. This one, that's a return line. The pressure lines, you can't really see it, but they're these guys back here, and they land on the, there's a, behind this, there's the hydro boost unit. Uh, let's see. Some wiring repairs. The insulation was falling apart. Headlight relay harness, which I still have to mount that. This is the uh, block heater plug. This is for the headlight uh, relay thing. I bought a cheap one. I was testing it. I think I'm going to keep it, so I'll make the install a little nicer. Let's see. The injection pump has been often been rebuilt. It sprung a leak under the head. The linkages have all been... Uh, filled and farted with to get all that like it should be. Cooling hoses are original because I can't find replacements. I need to make new ones for the heater core hoses. Let's see, back here, that odd looking switch, that's a vacuum switch for the air conditioner cutout. The original one failed and I couldn't find an original so I just, I made something work basically. Um, new, Hoses for the uh, air air pipe. The originals were cracked, and BMW wanted an absurd amount of money for it. I think this one here they wanted like 110 bucks for it. And I'm like, I don't think so. Those are just cheap, ricerific junk off eBay. I think I got 20 bucks into the set of them. So, uh, now I rebuilt the idler pulley, the idler tensioner down there. That's with a part off the S10. I think I made a video on that. Underhood pad came off of a junkyard car. It's not perfect, but it's pretty decent. Yeah, crappy paint under there. Air conditioner I fixed. Um, this is the only thing I actually did to it was I cleaned it. The air compressor was shot, and the orifice tube was clogged. Everything else I just flushed really extensively, and it actually works pretty good. So that's about it for under there. Still the bad paint. I replaced the mirrors with nicer junkyard units. Um, this, this is actually a keypad out of a town car. My buddy Derek gave it to me, and I modified it to work. The, they're almost identical, but the Continental one has a slight little recess on either end where the screws are. So I took a file and I made the recess. Um, this light's been replaced. Junkyard donor. This part is out of a junkyard. If you notice, the paint doesn't match. Fit isn't quite perfect, but you know, sometimes you just got to take what you got to take inside the car. The ding dong works. Shut up. Let's see, nice uh, floor mats, those are from uh, ACC Auto Custom Carpets. Um, the mirror is a little sticky. Uh, that is a 1986 Ford JBL system, and I have the amplifier that goes with it in the trunk. With I managed to do this without modifying the car's wiring, so that's cool. Uh, instrumentation all works. Well, when it's not shut off. Uh, 
let's see, the dash pad. This is a junkyard donor part, except the only problem with it, it's got this little curl over here. The original one, it was curled all the way across. This is a two-piece vinyl metal, and the vinyl had all peeled up there. Uh, armrests are out of a cloth interior car. I probably would have gotten the entire interior, but the back seat of that car was destroyed. I probably still should have gotten the front seats. Uh, this part's been replaced. It's got two locating pins and a hook that holds it in. Both of them were broken, and most of the paint was damaged. So, uh, yeah. The uh, back seat still as it was. Just a, a towel covering up the, the damage. Let's see. Uh, the wheels. I actually took these miserable things apart and polished each one of those spokes by hand. It was a horrible job, and I don't recommend the experience to anybody. However, they do look a lot better. Um, let's see. Better taillights. Those are nice junkyard parts. The rear bumper, also a junkyard donor part. Above the tailpipe tips, they were the chrome was wasted. And uh, the junkyard one was not. Reverse lenses are also from the junkyard. Uh, the bump strip is mine, though. It's the original from this car. The one from the junkyard was messed up. Also that antenna's been fixed. The motor inside was all gummed up and the mast was shot. So I happen to have a new old stock 84 mast. I rebuilt the motor, repaired the relay was burned up, fixed all that. Uh, really more of the same over here. This is also a nice junkyard part. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean... It's uh, a lot of used, less wasted parts updates. You know, I haven't, uh, I haven't bought anything new and exorbitantly priced. So there it is. That's a year of ownership updates. Oh, um, other things I did. New tires because they were shot. Um, brake calipers, brake pads, brake hoses up front, pads in the back. Um, new guide pins on the calipers in the back. Uh, new lower ball joints, and new rear shocks. Oh, new air air suspension compressor under the hood as well. That burned up. Uh, I think that's it. There's probably something else I forgot, but mostly it's just been fixing stuff that's broken and getting it uh, running a little better, and it runs fine. You know, it's slow, but it's uh, enjoyable to drive. get fuel economy in the mid-20s, so... Just in case anybody was wondering what owning a 34-year-old Lincoln with a BMW diesel is like, so far, that is my experience. Have a great day.